reactions as Barry finally speaks on Edsman killings and crisis. President Mohamed Buhari has finally broken his disquieting silence over inter-ethnic clashes across Nigeria, vowing to protect all religious and ethnic groups. Even though people were expecting him to speak directly, his intervention came to hear a statement by spokesman Gabashew, and the statement did not pointedly address the grievances of the warriors. He simply made promises. Boris said his government will protect all religious and ethnic groups, whether majority or minority, in line with its responsibility under the Constitution. President Bori warned that the government will not allow any ethnic or religious group to stock up hatred and violence against other groups. The president condemned such violence and gave assurance that his government will act decisively to stop the spread of any such violence. He appealed to religious and traditional leaders as well as governors and other elected leaders across the country to join hands with federal government to ensure that communities in their domain are not splintered along ethnic and other primordial lines. Critics have attacked Buhari for keeping some aloofness over the ethnic clashes, especially those involving Fulani headsmen and farmers in southwest Nigeria. Buhari also spoke three days after the bloody clash in Shasha in Ibadan Oyo state between Yoruba and Fulani traders. Thank you for listening to this news. Action is what we are asking for, not just just a mere word. We want action. The president should know that what we need in this country is action. Action. We don't need just words. The president is 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 making too many promises yes we know we know that it is in his mind to do this for us in the country but just saying it cannot do anything we want action because if you look at it very well you will see the rate at which crisis is occurring in this country and these crises are coming mostly from the fulani headsmen we know that if, if we if we are mentioning fulani headsmen we are mentioning them because we want people to know that these are the people that are causing most of the violence and crisis we are experiencing in Nigeria. Not that we hate them. We don't hate them. We don't hate them. Don't we have them in, in, our, in, our, in our states? Don't we have them in our, in our communities? We have plenty of them in Lagos State. Plenty of them. You understand? But... The attitude they are putting up is, is, is becoming unbearable. Okay, let me give you one instance. Now, I, I, I was just um, strolling up somewhere and, you know, I saw a crowd of people rounding a, a little boy of, of the age of 10. You know, walking up to know what is happening over there, I discovered that it's a little um, Fulani boy who is not up more than 10 years old. Why? What's happening? I, I tried to ask the man, what's happening? Why beating this little boy? The man said, uh, the little boy was seen with this. You need to see what this man showed me that he saw with this little boy. My dear, I was perplexed. Do you know what? Do I tell you? Oh my God. A special pen knife. If I say pen knife, I say portable pen knife. That can go inside someone's belly and stay there. Which you can pierce inside the belly of someone completely and stay there. A very portable, tiny pen knife. Special. Special. With a very special jacket. Collected from this little boy. And you need to see how this man collected this knife from this little boy. The little boy was holding it with his, with his hand covered. And walking. Only God knows the person that he is going to use that pen knife for. 
You see that? And that is why we have to be very, very careful. Very, I never blame the people that are rejecting these people in their state. Oh. I never blame them because they know what they are doing. You see, when we experienced, and that was the, the, the period we, we, um, we were experiencing influx of, uh, of imageries in our, in, in, in our states and communities. That was then. So, so you tell me, with that kind of thing seen in a little Fulani boy like that, do you think that the people will be happy to, to welcome such people? And you know, you, you need to see what I heard from the other person. The person said, don't mind them. That is how they behave. That they are very wicked people. And that is why he cannot give them money. And he will never give them money. You heard that? You heard that? So, not that they hate them. They don't hate them. Do you understand? They are the one causing it. They are the one causing it. So, um, the president should, should do something. We need action. Early this year, he made a promise to us that this year, that he is going to put an end to bandit attack and ethnic crisis. He made a promise to us. He said that is his number one agenda, the first agenda. And we, 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 we said, okay, we're going to give you that benefit of doubt. Let's see what is going to happen. My dear viewers, behold, the Fulanese begin the year with brutality. You understand? They begin the year with brutality. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I'm, 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 I'm getting pissed up on this. I'm getting pissed up. If nothing is done fast now, I'm afraid the crisis is going to, 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 in, to get increased. So something needs to be done fast. Fast. Something needs to be done. No more keeping calm or quiet. Because we are recording deaths in numbers. Okay, the southwestern the southwest people decide to take action on the headsmen, Buari question them and attack them, saying that it, it, it they dare not. Why will you say so? Why will you say they dare not? For what? For what? They dare not. <laughs> oh, my dear viewers, enough is enough. Enough is enough. If we don't do anything concerning this, you will be surprised at what is going to happen to us. This administration has given these headsmen too much chance and opportunity to take advantage of the people in Nigeria. So please, my dear viewers, uh, based on this issue, I encourage you to come in and air your own opinion concerning this. Deem it free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.